Hey guys, welcome back to Now I Know. Today we are talking about homologous versus homozygous. These two are the terms which can be confusing sometimes. So we'll start with homologous and move to homozygous because that way the flow will be much better and it will be more clear. So the homologous term we use with reference to homologous chromosome, right? When we talk about chromosomes, right? So we use the term homologous chromosome. So what does this mean? In humans, we, we are deployed organism, right? Because we have total of 46 chromosomes. That means 23 pairs, a half of which comes from mother. One pair, that means comes from mother. Those are maternal chromosome. And half of which comes from father, paternal chromosome. Right? So that's how we get total 46 chromosomes. Now, for every given pair, this is one pair. So for example, so for example, chromosome number one, we are taking one pair. This one chromosome has come from mother and this has come from father. Now this chromosome, both chromosome number one, okay, both the chromosome number one would have the genes that code for same traits. And these genes, the location where they are present is also going to be same. Once again, what does this mean? Let's assume that hypothetically I have a gene on chromosome number one that codes for eye color okay hypothetically it is present somewhere over here and let's take one more gene mm, let's talk about hair color somewhere over here it is present now on this other chromosome also because it is chromosome number one the same chromosome right the eye color gene would be present and it will be present exactly at the same position similarly it will also have hair color gene at the same position that means this chromosome contain all the genes that code for same traits all right if i had a gene over here that was coding for eye color and hair color on the partner chromosome also i have the eye color and hair color gene at the same position all right so we are using the term homologous uh, with reference to position of course and i would say uh, function also because we are saying that it contains gene that code for same trait, right? So the function is same and the position is also same. So that is where we are going to use the term homologous for a chromosome, all right? Homologous chromosome are the chromosomes that are going to contain the gene that codes for the same trait and their position is also same. Wherever it is present on this chromosome, it is going to be present on this other chromosome also. It is true for a pair. All right, I hope this was clear. Now let's take this further more in detail and talk about homozygous. Now we have already discussed about homozygous before when we were talking about homozygous, heterozygous and hemizygous. But what we saw is homozygous is a term we use. Mm, let's start this way. As I said, we are deployed organism. We are going to have two copies of every chromosome. And if we have two copies of every chromosome, we are going to have two copies of every gene. We just saw eye color gene is present over here. On the homologous chromosome also it is present over here. So we have two copies of every gene. And that means we have two copies of allele. Now we have spoken about genes and alleles, right? Alleles are nothing but different form of the same gene. So this pigmentation variation is because of the difference in the gene sequence that is making it code for slightly different pigment slightly different phenotype so these are nothing but alleles of that same gene so it is possible that both the chromosome that contains the gene for eye color both the chromosome would have the same allele so for example i have a gene that codes for brown color eye and both my chromosome contain the same gene that means both the genes or both the alleles are coding for brown color so the alleles are same that is why this condition is called homozygous homozygous for this particular trait only right now individually i'm going to talk about for eye color trait my genes are homozygous homo is same what is same over here the alleles so for eye color my genes are homozygous that is where we will use the term homozygous i wouldn't say that homozygous or heterozygous for the complete chromosome because the chromosome is going to have many different genes and it is possible that for uh, different traits say for example hair color we were talking about right so for hair color i might have two different genes or so two different alleles here one 
allele that codes for brown color hair and here one allele that codes for black color hair so I have two different allele for hair color trait so for hair color trait my genotype is heterozygous let's move further so we are concentrating on homozygous so homozygous is a condition where for a given particular trait both my alleles are same that's how we are going to use homozygous and homologous homologous when we are talking about chromosome and homozygous when we are talking about a particular genotype for a given particular trait right both the same allele and homologous chromosome because they contain the gene for same traits and the position is also the same so that's how we are going to use homologous and homozygous so that's all for now i hope this video was helpful do subscribe to the channel for new video every week and i'll see you next time until then keep learning